damping and resonance in an oscillating system. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe damping in an oscillating system, describe resonance in an oscillating system. Click on the string. What can you say about the amplitude of the vibration? The amplitude of the string decreases. Have you been on a swing in the playground? What can you say about the amplitude of the swing? Or increase the amplitude? Observe the motion of the pendulum. What can you say about its amplitude? At the start, the pendulum oscillates with maximum amplitude. The amplitude of the oscillation decreases with time and finally stops. What causes the pendulum to stop? Air friction causes the amplitude of the pendulum to decrease. When the pendulum oscillates, it has energy. This energy is used to overcome air friction. As time passes, more energy of the pendulum is being used to overcome air friction. This causes the energy of the pendulum to decrease. As a result, the amplitude becomes smaller. The pendulum is said to experience damping. Two identical tuning forks are used for this experiment. Both have the same natural frequency. Only the first tuning fork is made to vibrate. What will happen if the two tuning forks are placed near to each other? Click on the Start button. What happens to the second tuning fork? The second tuning fork will also start to vibrate. Why? As the first fork begins to vibrate, the surrounding air molecules will begin to vibrate with the same frequency. Energy is transferred to the second fork causing it to vibrate at its natural frequency. When this happens, the second tuning fork is said to resonate with the first tuning fork. When resonance occurs, the tuning fork vibrates at maximum amplitude and produces the loudest sound. The Barton's pendulum consists of a metal bob acting as the driver pendulum and a number of paper cones. What happens to the paper cone pendulums when the driver pendulum starts oscillating? Why? Click on Driver Pendulum to start oscillation. The paper cone pendulums begin to oscillate. Energy from the driver pendulum is transferred to the paper cone pendulums, causing them to oscillate. 
What can you say about the amplitudes of oscillation of the paper cone pendulums? The paper cone pendulums are oscillating at different amplitudes. Which pendulum has the biggest amplitude? Why? Pendulum 3 has the biggest amplitude. Pendulum 3 has the same length and natural frequency as the driver pendulum. Pendulum 3 is said to be in resonance with the driver pendulum. Pendulum 3 receives the most energy and thus oscillates at maximum amplitude. Musical instruments, such as the guitar, are set into vibration at their natural frequency when a person plucks the guitar string. When the guitar string is plucked, the string will start to vibrate and produce distinct sounds. Why does this happen? The guitar string is attached to the sound box of the guitar. The vibrating string forces air particles inside the box to vibrate at the same natural frequency as the string. The sound box resonates with the string and sets more air particles to vibrate, thus producing louder sound. 